We back. All right. Got this thing. Let me pull this little cord. Knocked on my goddamn iPad. What's good with y'all, mate? Let me cut my mic down. If I can, how you cut this thing down? Yo, yo, mic check. What's good, everybody? Hope everybody having a good quarantine, man. Hope everybody's social distancing. You know what I'm saying? Staying safe. You feel me? We finna get right into this thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to do a cartoon here. Let y'all see it in real time. Just in case anybody need to see it in slow motion, you get to see it in real time today. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and hit record. Make sure I make a video too so I can make a time lapse. So let me drag my picture in. The artboard I like to use is 18 by 18 inches. I know a lot of people be asking me like, man, what size paper you use when you making your cartoon? I use 18 by 18 inches. And that's the perfect size for when you want to bring it right into Instagram and stuff like that. So that's my favorite size to draw on. So that's one tip. Make sure everything I say, y'all remember everything I say. Because I'm, I, I, I'm pretty much going to tell you everything I use and how I do it when I'm making a cartoon head. So a real, what we do is... We just find a picture we want to use, and I just drag and drop it in there. I hold shift, and then I grab the corner till I get it to a size I like it. You know what I'm saying? And I hold shift while I'm dragging the corner so it don't change the shape of the picture. You know what I'm saying? Have the face looking too, too thin or too wide. Like, if you don't hold shift and you try to stretch out the picture... It'll kind of change, it'll distort your picture. You know what I'm saying? It won't give you the perfect features. So, let me drag and drop my picture. Hold shift. And then after I get it like right where I like it, what I do is, while well, I still got to select it, I come up here to the opacity. And I drop that down. Just good enough where I can see it. You know what I'm saying? And my line work can stand out when I put it on top. So after that, you want to come over here to these layers. And then you want to hit create new layer. After you do that, if you using a digital art tablet, a lot of people be asking me, man, what brush you use when you be drawing? I'm not using a, a certain style of brush. I'm just using my pressure option that the program give you when, once you draw on like with a digital art tablet. Let me, let me get my pen out of these cords. But yeah, I'm not using no, no certain brush. So let's go ahead and clear that up because I know I get a lot of comments saying, man, what's the brush? What's the brush you use? What's the brush? All I do is I'm I'm drawing on a, a digital art tablet. It's called the UG. It's like a off brand from a Wacom. It's like pretty much it's like having great value. You know what I'm saying? It's not the real thing, but it get the job done. So I'm using a UG art tablet. It's a 21 inch. I got it off Amazon and I got it off Amazon like five years back. So pretty much you might can find this thing on sale for like $300. Or you might can find one cheaper than this. You know what I'm saying? But the advantages of having an art tablet, it give you the pressure options. So you can't get the pressure option just using your mouse. So I advise you to invest into an art tablet. So what I do is I come right here to new brush. I hit OK. Then I go to pressure. And I change these two bottom numbers to three. And then there you have it. It give me the the saucy brush. And all it is is just pressure. Me when I press light, it'll give me a thin line. When I press hard, it'll give me a thicker line. So that give me the brush you see me use. That's the only brush 
I use in every uh, Adobe Illustrator video. So what I'm finna do is, first thing I do when I'm making a cartoon head is the line work. You know what I'm saying? So I zoom in as close as I can and I focus on making some clean lines. Let me go back some, make my brush a little smaller. I'm finna make my brush uh, a little smoother too, so it'll help me make cleaner lines. I'ma double click my brush and go to smooth. I'ma just move this up a little bit so it'll help me make cleaner lines. So This is like the most important step of making your cartoons, man. You gotta make some clean, some clean lines. And that's what that smoothness help you do. It'll help you like make your lines more sharper. And uh, let's say if I, see how I kind of try to clean it up for me? Make my brush a little smaller as well. What I do is I try to get all the little details out the way. And the more you do it, like, the more faster you'll become at making your line work and all that. So I'm just gonna swing through. Bring it right there. Just like that. Well, I'm bring my smoothness down because sometimes it'll correct your line too much where it'll mess something up. So I'm going to just bring it back to the center. Okay. Make some clean line, man. Let's do the outer shape of his face. I'm going to change my brush size to like a one point Anytime you want to delete, just hold control and hit Z. And that's how you delete. So anytime you make a mistake, just hold control and hit Z. Alright. Did that. Come on this side. We're going to do the same thing. Start my line right here. Bring that thing on down, make it connect. Boom. Come right here. Uh oh. Yeah, this. So just like I said, anytime you making cartoon heads, the most important step of the cartoon head is your line work. So you gotta make sure your line work is on point before you even move to the next step. So just make sure you're taking your time and you focusing. You know what I'm saying? Now what I like to use too is my brush tool and my pencil tool. That's what I create my line work with. Let's make our brush a little smaller, a 0 0.5. I'm finna do his lips. Also, when I'm doing like the mouth, I make sure I close my lines off. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about too. Right there. Closer right here. Make this bottom lip. Come on, right here. 
right there. Make this. Come up like that. Then we gonna You see how I made sure my lips was closed off? Like this top lip is closed off from this bottom lip. And I made sure my lines is closed off so when it's time for me to do the coloring process, it won't nothing be messed up, you know what I'm saying? So just make sure you closing your lines off as well. So they come in, they do a little grill. I ain't gonna make all these lines connect. We just gonna give it the the little illusion. Make my brush a little smaller so we can do the little gum line. Start it like that. Boom. Come on this side. We're gonna do the same thing. Dead. Uh oh, I messed up right there. This will look clean. Okay. All right. See how this looking. I got the grill looking, looking pretty dope. All right, let's go ahead and make sure. Okay, cool. Now what I'm finna do, I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna leave this uh, brush tool real quick. And we finna go to the pencil tool. So what you wanna do, you wanna come right click the brush tool, go to your pencil tool, double click your pencil tool, make sure your settings look exactly like mine's look. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your settings look just like this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, after you do that, hit okay. And I use that to fill in a lot of areas and I kind of draw with my breath with my pencil tool as well come over here to your colors and move black to the top and make sure the bottom one is locked so we can use the pencil tool as a fill tool so all we got to do is draw the areas that we want it to fill in so I'm drawing out the area and it's gonna fit it in Come over here, do the same thing. We're gonna draw out the area. And we're gonna let it fill in. Bam. Okay, cool. I'm gonna come down here. I'll let this little spot open. Go. Close that all. Just the shadow. Ah, this is gonna be in the shadow, so we need to close this. Cool is good. All right. All right. Now we got the got his grill looking decent. Come back up here to these eyes. Make this line thicker at the top. You see how I'm kind of drawing with my pencil tool? I'm using it as a fill-in, but I'm also drawing with it as well. 
So you just gotta know how to finesse your tools. Let's see. I'm gonna draw these. So this out. Uh, just like that. Take a little step back. I got a habit of looking at my progress. Okay. We're gonna come up here to the hair. And let's go ahead and close this off. So I'm gonna start right here. Bring my line right over and connect it right there. And we're gonna fill all this in. Okay, cool. I kinda messed up right here, so let me take this back. Go back to my pencil tool. We're gonna give it some type of texture as well. So I'm gonna just do this. So it won't look so clean. It'll get like the effect, like it's some some real hair up there. You know what I'm saying? So zoom in a little bit. Boom. This side, we're gonna do the same thing. We ain't gonna make it look so neat. It's cute. That same consistency going. Keep the same consistency going. Bring this down. Finish with the top of the hair. Okay, cool, cool. Cool is good. Let me take a step back, see how we looking. Okay, it's coming together, man. Now what I'm finna do is, I need to get this little hair part right here. So, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. give it more texture we're gonna do the same thing let me just get that illusion the more time you spend on making your cartoons the better it'll come out you know what I'm saying and just pay attention to detail that just like this bring this oh like that boom now what I'm finna do I'm gonna come over here to his eyebrows and do the same thing just using this pencil pencil tool as a fill in but I'm kind of drawing out how I want the fill in to be So we still gonna come back on top of this fill in with the pencil tool with the brush tool. Same thing, we just fill all this in. Okay, cool. 
cool is good. Now I'm finna go back. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and fill it in. This tattoo right here. So. Okay, bring this over. Come out like this. And now. It's coming together slowly, but surely. But the pencil tool will buy you a whole lot of time, bro. So make sure you get used to using your pencil tool. Okay. Now I'm finna go back to my my brush tool and we're gonna finish up with adding a lot of the detail in the face. So let's come over here to this ear. Uh oh, I need to make that I need to make this line a little smaller. Let's see if this 1.5 will do. Okay, cool. Take a little step back, see how we looking. It's coming together, man. Everything coming together. Make my brush small as I can get it. What I'm finna do. to these eyebrows let's give it some texture so we can make these hairs look real okay make sure I got my brush as small as I can get it okay Another thing too, you gotta make sure you hit save. Cause Adobe will trip on you sometime. So let me make sure I hit save on my picture. Just in case something happened, we'll have a good stopping point. Come on this side, do the same thing. This part is very time consuming, but it's all worth it, man. That's the only part I don't really like doing is when it's time to do the hairs and stuff. Okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it 
where it fill in real good where you don't notice what I did with the pencil tool. So it'll just look like a whole lot of hair other than the fill in showing. Side. Now we just gotta come to this side. So a little more love to this side, man. doing good though man I'm gonna make a speed art video of this too like as soon as I finish I'm gonna upload this as a speed art see now we got all that got all that down take a step back okay cool cool is good now we gotta do this Mustache. Let me see. Gotta make these lines look thinner, though. Yeah, man. Wonder can I just copy this? So we gonna do we're gonna copy that side go to arrange now nah, we're gonna go to transform and we can go to reflect hit okay just so we can have it facing the opposite direction make sure I got this in the right place Okay, cool. There we go. Everything looking good. All right, go back to my brush tool. Just fill in the little extras. Cool. Make sure. Okay, cool. We almost finished. We almost finished with the line work, man. We go to my um pencil tool. Gotta add this little tattoo. I wonder what he got right here. It looked like a heart. Okay. I don't know what these other tattoos is, so we just gonna got down. We just gonna do our little thing like this. Beep, beep. Oh, this one say Melvin. Okay, I see it. Anytime I don't know what tattoos is, bro, I just got to do squiggly lines. Because people ain't going to look that hard once you start shading. So that's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Once I add all the detail, they ain't going to be they ain't gonna be focused on like, dang, is that spare, right? Is that is that really what they say? 
they just gonna be so caught into the quality of the work. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's come over here to the eyes. Make sure we make sure we close this off, so it won't be no disaster. Come over here. Close this off, just like that. Boom. Take a little step back. See, see how far we done came. All right, cool. We almost finished. So what I'm finna do? Go back to my pencil tool. We gotta finish these. The inner detail. Okay. My eyelashes. Ooh. Just like that. Close this off just like this. And bring this out. Just gotta make sure anytime you making your cartoon heads, man, you just paying attention to all the detail. The more detail you add, the better your picture will come out. We almost about ready to start our coloring process. Okay. Okay. And I'm pretty much make sure. Okay, you got a little, a little line right there. Also, let me go ahead and do these little side burns cool so how you do the fade effect you see how I'm like spreading out these dots the closer I get to the top though I'm gonna make make the hair come closer together and then it's gonna give it a nice little fade effect watch this you see the closer I'm getting to the top, how I'm making the dots more closer together. And then, there you have it. You got your little fade going. Okay, we just gave him a little fade on the side. See how that look? Look like it's faded. Yeah. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna spread out that. Spread it out. Just to give it an illusion like it's fading. And then the closer, closer we get up here. And I make this, every time I'm doing a fade, I make this little line right here so it'll let me know how far I need to come over. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm getting closer up. Now it's time to make Make the hair is a little more distinguished. Now all this is real time consuming, man. But if you're trying to make a dope picture, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about how long it's gonna take you. Just worry about how dope it's gonna look when you finish. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm closer to the top. Gonna fill this in and make it look like it's fading. Okay, cool. And last but not least, what we about to do, we got they ain't finna add. We finna add the uh detail to the top of the hair. And then I want to make this little edge a little more smoother. So what I'm gonna do is, while I still got my brush tool, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna draw some hairs all the way through, just so it'll look more smooth and real at the same time. So we just gonna come through the whole picture just like this. Do 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 do. So to make this line look straighter. Hey, pull me, you'll pull me some of that phantom. Alright. Make this 
this all the way through. Just like that. Bam. Alright. Are we finna with that? I should put a neck on him, but nah, we just gonna do we just gonna draw the his head right on this one. One thing I wanna add. I wanna add this little appreciate you. Go ahead and do the little texture on top of that. On top of his head. The squiggly lines, that's all I do. Make this look like it's real hair. Alright. Oh no, I'm straight right now. Alright, then we will be officially finished with our line work and now we about to start the coloring process. I'm gonna try my best not to lose y'all on this process. But if I do, you you can always rewind it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you catching what I'm talking about. Alright. Let me zoom in, make sure we got everything complete. Do I wanna add, yeah, let's go ahead and add a little more eyelashes, man. Okay, cool. Bit. Okay. Now that we got the line work completed, everything looking sharp. Make sure all my lines closed off. All right, bet. What you want to do is you want to highlight everything you just drew. Make sure you got all your lines selected. You want to go up to object, expand appearance, and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. Seeing how all our lines just became one. After you do that, you wanna go to your line work layer, drag it down to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy of it, lock the top copy, go to the copy that's right underneath it. And I went ahead and made me a little nice preset of colors. So I'm finna go to my rectangle tool and drag that color over the entire picture after I do that, I'm going to right click my color, go to arrange and send to back. What that going to do is it's going to put my color right behind my line work layer. You know what I'm saying? So when you click send to back, it put it underneath what was on top of it. You know what I'm saying? So now. If you want to know if you did that step right, you can look over here at your layers and you'll see your line where it's sitting right on top of the color. After you do that, you want to highlight everything together. Then you want to come over here to your pathfinder. Once, ag once again, then you want to hit merge. Now what I just did, I made my color become one with the line work. So right after you do that, after you make it become one, you want to right click the color, go to isolate select group. And what it's going to do, every area that's closed off is going to make it its own group. So you get to change it and other than just changing everything all together, it's just, so I want to grab this outer color, delete it. I can do that. Select these eyes by holding shift to select more than one area at a time. Change that to white, man. Now, what I want to do is, I'm gonna go to my color layer I just created and hit this drop down menu. Then I'm gonna hit it again, and I'm gonna scroll down till I see my last black line work. I'm keep strolling. Okay. Now what I'm finna do. 
looking for my last black line work. Okay, right here. I'ma lock all my black lines. So I'm just locking all my black lines inside of that layer. So let's lock all this. Lock it up, lock it up. Okay. And I'm gonna keep my top two unlocked. And I'm gonna close that back. Now you see these little colors that's trapped inside the hair. I'm gonna go to my white arrow tool right here. And I'm gonna select all these colors that's trapped inside the hair and hit delete. So what it's doing is since we locked all our black line work, it's making it where we can select all this and not make a mistake and delete our line work because we just locked all our line work. So I'm just deleting all the color out of the hair that was trapped in it. Okay, delete that, delete this. Okay, cool. After I do that, what I'm finna do, I'm finna change his lip color. I'll select the neck. Bam, click. Change this bottom lip. Okay, cool. I just gums. Make his gums darker. Okay, cool, cool. That's good. All right. Uh oh. Select, select, group. Hold shift. Make that the same color as his bottom lip. Okay, what I call this layer, this is my base, my base tone layer. You know what I'm saying? This is like the color layer that's gonna go at the very bottom what I start with. So what I'm gonna do is, let's make a copy of the color layer we just created. Lock the bottom copy and turn the eye off. And then we're gonna come to the color layer that's in the middle and we're gonna delete the skin tone out of this layer so i'm gonna go to my white selection tool and i'm deleting only the skin tone out of that layer so let's delete all the skin tone make sure we ain't missing nothing we're gonna delete all the colors that's trapped in the hairs just like that. Zoom in, let's make sure we ain't got nothing trapped that we can't see. All right. Okay, everything deleted out of that layer. And as you notice, I left my eye color and my mouth color layer on, on that layer. So let's lock that layer back. We can turn the eye back on on the bottom color layer. Let's create a new layer in between those two. So this is gonna be my sh my uh, shading layer. And I'm gonna go to my pencil tool, make sure my color is at the top and my bottom color is locked. Let me see, I'm gonna start with, start with a goddamn a dark tone. So I'm gonna start with probably, I'm gonna start right here. No, I'm gonna start with, uh, the darkest of the darkest. That's what we're gonna do. But I'm finna show you why I did what I did, like the process. You see, now when I add a shadow, it's gonna fall right behind the eyes and the lips. So I ain't gotta worry about trying to draw around that. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna make everything easier. Now what I'm doing, I'm looking at my picture. And pretty much, I just look at my picture and I copy all the shadows I see. You know what I'm saying? And then slowly build it like a puzzle piece. So, using my pencil tool. I use my pencil tool to do all my, my shadows and my shading. 
so I don't use my uh my brush tool when it comes to shading. I just use my pencil tool, and I just draw out where I want my uh shadows to be. So let's go ahead and draw out all these dark tones that I see on this picture. And this is the part you really just gotta focus in on the picture you're looking at. That's all I'm doing. I'm just focusing in on what I'm drawing, making sure I place my shadows exactly where I see them. Cause sometimes it won't start out looking right, but it'll look right at the end. Like if you truly just follow where the shadows was at on the original picture. See, I notice you got a little dark shadow right here. Come up right there, boo boo. Just pay attention to all the detail. That's all you got to do. And then you'll get better over time. Like, you probably won't start out being the best at doing shadows, but the more you do it, you'll have no choice but to, like, you know what I'm saying, evolve and get better. So. The best way to work on a weakness is to stay focusing and practicing on your weaknesses. So I just piece all my shadows together. Put this together like that. Uh-oh, I brought that too far up. Cool. Cool is good. Now, notice he got a got a dark tone right here on his little lip. Okay, let's go like that. Now I'm finna go. And every time I add a lighter tone, I put it right underneath the tone that's darker in it. You know what I'm saying? So. The lighter I go, I just put that lighter tone underneath the darker tone. So I'm finna create a new layer because I'm finna add a, a different color tone. I'm gonna select this color tone. And zoom in. Let's see. Just focusing in on my picture. Cause if you draw exactly what you see, it'll come out come out super dope. Let's see, I had a shadow right here. It's just a dark shadow coming this way. Okay. Bring this tone on through this way. to my lighter tone. I'm gonna cover a lot of ground with this tone. Let's see, add this. This is my favorite part of drawing any cartoon. 
is the add in the shadows because it's like building and i truly think i chose the wrong all right let's see make sure i ain't choose the wrong skin tone probably did yeah i see what i did wrong this was the highlight layer i used that's the base color the base tone so let me just switch that over make that a little darker okay cool okay make sure okay now we good Had the wrong. That was the base. This was the highlight layer. This the base tone. Okay, now the shading start here. Okay. I should have labeled my colors, but we good. We fixed it. Go ahead and add all these little. And your shadows, what it do? It shape. It shape out the face. Of what you whatever you join. Okay, make this make this come over like this. Ooh. Bring this whole shadow in like this. And his nose come right here. Then it come up. Then it go like this. That's why I love this pencil too, because it make it it make it so much. It make it fun and it make it easier. Other than you just trying to color it and not be for sure like if it's right. Like you get to hurry up and find out. Like dang, I don't like that. Like I get to draw a shadow and just look at it, be like, nah, that's wrong, and be so fast with changing it. So this pencil tool is like the the best thing. You know what? And I'm gonna turn off these other layers. I might just do these shadows over. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna keep the shadow shadow layer we working on. I should have started with my lighter tones and build my way up. So that's what I'm doing. Too. Just the more time you put into it, man. Pay attention to detail. Practice make perfect. So you gotta practice a lot. Like don't just watch me do it and not put in no practice or get no practice in for yourself. So watch me do it and you go out there and try it too. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you can get better if you just trial and error. Let's see. Bring this up. Bring this shadow. Boop. What I'm gonna do. Also, I think I'm gonna make this a little darker too. Let's see how it look if it was a a smidgey darker so I'm gonna try this tone cool like that okay oh. 
bring it down like this. Okay, cool. I'm gonna bring this down. We got another little line that go up like this. This thing come on around like this. So I'm gonna bring this back. Connect that like that. Then we're gonna bring this shadow on down. Connect it right here. Bring this over just like this. Alright. There we go. Come on. Bring this tone on up like that. I'm just paying attention and focusing in on my original photo. Okay, cool. Now, what I can do is add the shadows inside this ear so I can make all this, I can make all this dark. Like that. Okay. I'm just focusing. Just gotta train your eyes. So you can be able to catch, catch everything. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come to this side. We're gonna add the little details. It's on this side of his ear. Okay, cool. Shadow right there. Okay. I'm just looking back and forth at the original photo. Now, since I did that, to create me a new layer. And I'm finna go even lighter with my tone. So let me write. So we're gonna go right underneath this tone. And we're gonna add some more shadows with different tones so to give it more dimension. over okay. we're just gonna keep building with our different tones and that's just gonna bring make the picture pop make it pop more the more the more tones you add the more realistic effect it give like the shadows and stuff it make it look 
so much better. So that's why it's real good to make sure you picking out some good colors as well. I'm gonna have some color palettes for y'all soon. So y'all can just use my color template if you ain't good at finding colors, like skin tones and stuff. So I'm bring this this shadow come in this way and it goes out. Okay, cool. Coming together, man. All right. Let's add some shadows. That's all I do, man. I just go through the whole picture. And everything I see on the original picture, I just go back and keep adding all the details that my eyes missed. The first time, I just keep going through. Just like putting together a puzzle. this way and these shadows gonna make these facial hairs not stand out as much so bring this over This side, make sure we Get some details right here. Okay, fill all that in. Shadow come all the way to this side. I kind of messed up. Okay. 
There we go. We got this thing looking clean, man. about to do is go to a lighter tone hold up make sure I still got my lighter tone all right I'm about to add some highlights on his face but my pencil tool so He might change the color on this too because it's looking too reddish we got too much of a red tint in it so i'm looking at this let me go ahead and go to my adjust color preview I'm OCD, bro, when it comes to these colors. Let's see. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I know you got a big old highlight right here. Another thing I'm finna do is make our let's make up an, a lighter color. side of his face. Game. 
实。I just gotta make this thicker. Oh no! I'll make sure I put the highlights beside the ear. Top in the way. Wait, no. I ain't gonna make it that bright, so it won't stand out as much. Just colors. Okay, I think that's cool. I'll delete this too. Do, 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 do. Now we can start adding our darker tones let's see what layer I'm on okay I think that's what we get start adding our darker shadows Attention. Okay, this shadow come in. Erase some of this. I don't think my charge is working, bro. It's cool, it's cool. Because your boy about to be goddamn complete with this, you thing, you feel me? I'm almost finished. Just a couple more tones. Cool. 
Boop, 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 boop. I gotta bring this darker. Shut it a little further over. It's on the original picture, it comes up a little closer in, like that. Also, this whole area is dark. So let's go ahead and make this dark. Do 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 do. Okay, I can make this pocket darker. Let's kind of show his little smile. Um, this top of this can be darker. this ear now we gotta add a little more detail I mostly I most of the time put my highlights at the very top, but I just did in this time, so it's cool. I do my highlights at the very end and put them at the top, but I just I just did a different method this time. Complete though your fear. Let's see. I'm gonna add some shadows on his eyes. I'm gonna go even darker with my tone. I wonder what layer I was on. Okay. It's the dark tone. over okay cool need to make it a little wider don't 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 Shadow. Don't 
to, to, to. Shadow deeper. Transitions of color. That's how shading is. Just transitioning from darker to lighter. So. shadow come up so that's all I do I just keep building just keep building on my colors that's all I do <clears throat> until I feel like it's finished I just keep on Shadows back inside the ear. tones a little high. 
Ai. Do, 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 do. You still playing Paul GT? Oh, you just got killed? No, we just had chicken dinner. Oh, chicken dinner? Yeah, I had my phone because I was playing with the ace and I didn't want to join the game because my phone died. I mean, he lived in that 19 kids. Mm. I think he kind of mad because I got the last kid. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, I like it. Tones come a little further. Gotta make these things come closer in, man. Especially all in this area. Especially while I'm on this layer, need to make these tones come up. That ear looking a little too bright.
Okay. On to the next tone. Go ahead and clean this up. Speaking of, what was the next tone? I see it. Let's see what If I'm gonna style up on that one. Let me bring this up. Trying to work these tones to this other side. That's what we trying to do. Make sure. Okay. I need to go back and bring them shadows up. But we'll do it. Do that in a second. over bring it on up right there now we ain't gotta make this area so bright 
Bring these tones up. Just keep working. Now I can make this little shadow connect. I messed up trying to make all this look like it's flowing. color that's off and it's this color right here but I'm gonna tweak that at the end it's a little off it ain't flowing it's good So this ear, no goddamn attention. my lightest tone yeah okay cool we on the right layer it's coming together man now y'all pretty much get to see how much time I put into it like as far as when I'm trying to make a a good detail head Mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm. Okay. I'll show this cheekbone. But we're just gonna make this curve just like this. Bring this shadow over like that. And bring this up. Close that off like that. Gotta be so bright. Bring this a little closer. this off like this also now that we sure I got everything exactly how I want it. Get this highlight out of this ear. What's that layer that I said the color wasn't? Oh yeah, I see it. I see what color need to be tweaked a little bit. Gotta make sure our color is right. So let me go to object, expand, go to edit, edit colors, adjust color balance, preview. I need to make that a a little more redder. I think that'll do it. Nah, it need, need to be just a little more darker than that. Okay, 
that's cool. I'm liking how that's looking. to my shadow layer real quick. Yep, that's the tone. Sample this. finish with the skin on this layer <clears throat> I mean we almost finished with all the skin tones so just bear with your boy the perfect perfect little blend I could be all, I could be here all day trying to mix these colors. Switch them colors on them highlights a little more too. Okay. Move that 
back to what it was. Oh, snap. Okay. So I highlight this. Let's go to just color balance. to my go to this tone go to, okay See what's going on. All right. Yes, that's it. Now I just gotta find a little color brighter than that. Hopefully, I can get this. This right. Okay, we just gonna st let's start with that. Okay, go to color. Just preview. Okay. There we go. I think that's it. That might be it. Yep. Good enough. That's all I need. Okay. There we go. We 
It took a long time coming. But it was worth it, man. Okay, skin tone. Skin tone came out pretty good. Speaking of. Make sure I say this. So, so we won't lose any of the progress. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Officially finished with the skin tone. I think I got it pretty much how I like it. I'm gonna work on the eyes and the mouth. What I'm gonna do? Uh, my little shadows. Uh oh, I thought I had this color selected. Yes, I do. Go. 
I need to make that a little. I need to make that a little higher. So it don't look too dark. top so we can add some some glares inside his eyes okay mm -hmm. I do a grill and a hair effect and his lips and we done you feel me so let's go ahead and add the shadows to the top lip I'm gonna do his teeth last let's go ahead and go inside the top lip
cool. Bring this thing on up. Bring this, attach that. Let me blend this color a little more. Hopefully I can use this, this shadow right here. See how that look. Yeah, that look decent. We'll just use that color. Same thing. Put him a little highlight inside his lips. Focus on this grill. So all I'm gonna do is create me a, a gray color. So I'm gonna make it a little bluish tint. Let's create us a grill. Click, make sure I click save. Just in case something happened. So now we're gonna give us a little grill effect. Okay, cool. It look like he got a grill on. Got a goddamn add these deep shadows in this corner. Okay. 
Okay. Cause I ain't showing everywhere. I'm just drawing exactly what I see. Okay, then. There we go, there we go. Let me go back to my brush tool. Let's make this line a little smaller, small as we can get it. to get out the color of white and we just gonna draw some dots your boy now I'm finna make a diamond effect so I'm gonna come over here <clears throat> to my rectangle tool and I'm gonna hit this star tool I'm gonna hold start and press down on the arrow on your keyboard to make it like this while, while I'm still holding down on my mouse I'm gonna hold control and stretch it out to make it look like a diamond like a little sparkle. Okay, I think. I think that's perfect. After I finish, I'm gonna let it go. Now, I'm gonna go back to my circle tool, create a circle in the center, like that. Move the color to the center, like that. Well, I still got to select it. I'm going to go to Blur, Preview, all right, there we go, bam. There we have our little shine. I'm going to select everything right here. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and I'm going to click Merge. I don't know why the hell this shit ain't. All right, look. I'm gonna hold Alt to make a copy of my little star I just made. Drag it over here to this mouth. Hold Shift to make it smaller. And we got dang on got dang over exaggerate this smile. You feel me? So hold Alt and just keep. Now some people don't like this part. They be like, man, the picture look better without that. But man, I like it. So. Also, dang, what my god, dang. Wait, wait, hold up, hold alert. Hold up, something ain't right. Wow. I ain't got no sharp points on my, uh. Oh, okay, I did this all wrong. I see what happened. I didn't have my, my color in the inside. 
Make sure your color in the inside when you're making your little star. So let me create my star again. Okay, there we go. Got my star. Stick that right there. I bet. Cause I was thinking, what the hell? Create me a little circle so you don't see my crosses. I be being extra, y'all, but I guess that's why y'all like me. If I wasn't being extra, you wouldn't like my art. Uh, let me go to effect, blur. All right, there we go. I'm good to go now. Nah, that looked like a nice little star, even though it looked too big, but bear with me. Comments aren't live. Hmm? These aren't live. Oh, I know. Let me see. Drag this old. I made that star way too big. That's what it was. I got that star too big, but it's cool. Yeah, I made the sparkle shine. I ain't made a, a shine in so long. But you know what? It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna matter. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Go back to my effects, blur. Hit okay. I got my color white out. Make his mouth a little blurry. So it look like it's shining. Like, dang, that boy's shining. Yep. Okay, cool. Also, put this big old star somewhere. I'm gonna put it right there. Break it down just a tad, cause we're gonna have one star that's super big. Yep. Hopefully, if I can blur this a little bit, it won't be too much of a distraction. So blur save your life when you ain't trying to do too much. finish with his grill last but not least it's time to do the hairbrush so all you got to do is just on your swatches click any gradient okay and all you need is three transitions so we're going to delete all these other transitions okay make sure the colors at the ends is dark So I make this all the way, make it fade into like, okay, that's cool. Bring it closer to the center, just like we have here. Now, I'm change this color. Mm. All right, need to make this more bluish. Now I gotta make this color uh, a little better. Now we almost got our hairbrush complete. All right, there we go. Finally created a hairbrush. 
I'm gonna go to my brush tool. Make sure the brush I created is at the bottom. Bam. All right. Let's go to this. His eyebrows. We're gonna just add this little texture. Cool. All right, look like it's real. Same thing at the top, top of his head. Just gonna give it some texture. Anytime your your brush strokes ain't flowing in the right direction, all you gotta do is highlight it. Select the uh, brush you created. Come right here and change the numbers into it's flowing in the direction you need it to. See what I'm saying? Uh, let me make this come all the way. Other thing too, let me, these little strokes ain't going. Try to use my um my pencil tool. Let me make sure. Okay, cool. I'm on my pencil tool. Make my brush a little bigger. Okay. too thick. I'll leave that right there. This stroke is off. So we can just delete that one. And put this stroke back in the center. I just wish the, the highlights stay in the center. Sometimes you gotta keep changing it around into it. Be in the right, right spot. Yeah, I'm uh, 
cheat with this thing, man. There you have it, you guys. How to make a cartoon head with your boy. I've been a little extra, but y'all know me. Gotta be extra. Let me see. Now what I'm finna do. Your boy about to add his little signature. Oh, wait. I'm finna show y'all how I save all my pictures when I'm finished. I go to ex export as... Then I save my joint as a PNG file. Use artboard and export. 300 resolution. And that's it. That's how I save all my pictures. Also, let me put my little, my little stamp on it. Because you know people online like to goddamn try to make money off my name. That's why I put my love, my at name through my work. Cause it's a lot of apps that try to steal my work that already stole my, a lot of my artwork to advertise what they got going, but they be lying. But yeah, we're gonna put that right there, bam. Let me go ahead and pick a color background for this thing. Let's see. What color background? Yeah, I'm going to go with red. A red background. Bam. And I'm going to export that too. So I save two copies. I save a, a transparent copy, like one without the background. Then I save one like this, so I can upload on my my Instagram, like I'm about to do now. Comment under my Instagram, like if you just watch this live, you know what I'm saying. Comment just just watch the something. Now nah, comment uh hashtag. what? Hashtag. Oh yeah, hashtag. Hashtag T World if you just watch this whole live under this picture on uh my Instagram because I'm about to load this thing up, man. What y'all want? Y'all want me to go live tomorrow? Just let your boy know. Go live or just drop a tutorial. What y'all want to see, man? Y'all just let me know what y'all trying to see, bro. And it is what it is. What videos y'all want me to make tomorrow since we all quarantining? And as well, I would like to go ahead and give a prayer out to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? That's going through this. Like, I know the world is going through this. So I would like to say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us through these hard times and make sure while we're going through these times right now, people are taking advantage of the time they have right now with the people they love. In Jesus' name, I pray everybody keep your head up. Stay strong. Thank y'all for staying tuned. Let your boy know what you're trying to see tomorrow. And trust me, bro. Your boy would do it. We ain't got nothing there to do, so we might as well turn up. 
during this quarantine. We might as well work on the art skills. So, if y'all want me to go live tomorrow, just let me know. If y'all want to see some more tutorials, just let me know. I do both. You feel me? Let me see what my... Okay, bet, bet. Help us with how to get the color right. Okay, we'll do that. I'll make sure I drop a video on that. I'll work on that as soon as I get off my uh, live. A video on how to get the colors right. You know what I'm saying? It's a tedious process, but if I drop a quick tutorial, you'll get like my basic concept on how to do that. All right. Bet I'll make sure I drop. Drop some more heat for y'all, man. Thank y'all for the love and support, man. We'll be back up tomorrow, so make sure you catch me. And make sure you stay tuned on the channel because I will be dropping some videos like unexpected. You'll never know, so make sure you just keep a lookout. Hit that post notification so you'll be updated anytime I drop a video. You feel me? Okay, you have 260 subscribers and just 80 people see you. Oh, what I miss? Man, you'll be able to see this video if you missed it, because I will have this thing uploaded. But thank y'all for the love and support, man. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon, and I did dang.